Hello, today I'm going to show you how to connect a Weber with WordPress form using Metform. First, log into your Aweber developer account and create a new app. To create the app, enter the credentials like application name, author, URL of the application website, set client type to conditional and OAuth redirect URL. To get the OAuth URL, log into your WordPress site, go to Metform settings to newsletter integration and switch to a Weber tab. There you will find redirect URL. Copy that URL. Go back to a Weber app creation page and paste the redirect URL. Then add in description and click on the create new app button. After that, you will get the app credentials like client ID and client secret. Now copy them and paste them in the AWeber integration page in your WordPress dashboard. Then authenticate the app. To authenticate, you have to log into your AWeber user account and allow access. Next, in the AWeber user account dashboard, create a new list. If you already have a list created, click on the Manage Lists and Adjust List Settings. For an existing list, click on the three dots at the right corner and open the list settings. Then personalize your list. Next up, fill the custom fields under List Options in the sidebar and click on Add Custom Field. Enter custom field name. Enable update option for subscriber and finally add the field. You can see the list of custom fields. After that, log into your WordPress dashboard and navigate to Metform Forms. Create a new form. Enter form name, select form type, choose a template, and edit the form with Elementor. In the Elementor editor, design a form with the field you want to add. After designing the form, open the form settings Go to the Integration tab, enable a Weber, and select a Weber list ID. Wait for a few seconds for the list to appear. Assign the form fields to a Weber custom fields. Then click on the Save button. Now open the form in View mode and submit the form. Now go to your a Weber account dashboard and click on the subscriptions from the sidebar. In the subscribers list, you'll find subscriber information from the form submission. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more useful tutorials. Thank you for watching.